Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sir, I, I think today is a very important and auspicious day because uh, the Senate of Pakistan ha is the first parliament in the world to take notice of this grave crime and issue of Islamophobia. And the, we must compliment you and compliment all the members, especially Senator Mushtaq Saab and others who have taken this initiative. And the other thing is that after a few days, the issue of the Iqtalaaf and the issue of the Iqtalaaf have been on one issue. Because this issue is our part of our faith. And I hope that I will maybe extend this issue to other issues. Because this country badly needs national unity on core issues. Sir, I'll just make three major points. Number one, the Iqtalaaf issue of Islamophobia is the issue of Islamophobia. Sir, I'll just make three major points. Number one, the issue of Islamophobia is not confined only to Sweden and the Netherlands. This has been a recurring pattern. In the past, we saw France, we saw Denmark, we saw Austria, we saw Hungary having the same pattern. So this pattern also shows very important double standards in the West, because they talk of freedom of expression and freedom of speech, that we cannot have any control over it. But actually, sir, there are finite limits to freedom of expression under their own laws and under their own political considerations. And I'll give you two examples. The issue of Holocaust. Anybody who denies the Holocaust can be jailed. So there's no freedom of expression on that. And a Professor Irving, a famous professor of Britain, was jailed for that. Then on the issue of Ukraine now, people have lost their jobs in the UK, in European countries, for uh, agreeing with the Putin's point of view on Ukraine. So again, on freedom of expression, when it suits their interests, they take a different stand. So I think on the issue of Islamophobia, we should be very clear. And I'm very happy that uh, uh, the previous government had declared Islamophobia, a day of Islamophobia, which was universally acclaimed. And of course, this is something which is close to the hearts of all the people of the world, the civilized uh, community also, because the great People's Pope, I call him, Pope Francis. He issued a statement condemning Islamophobia. So it's not just Muslims. It's also Christians and the civilized community. And I would like to acclaim Pope Francis for his stand on this issue. The second issue is, Mr. Chairman, that in the West, Islamophobia is not state-sponsored. It's an aberration by certain fanatics, certain extremists, certain racists, certain right-wing bigots. But closer to home, in India and Israel, Islamophobia is state-sponsored. And Mr. Chairman, what happened yesterday in occupied Palestine? Israeli occupation forces brutally murdered nine Palestinians in Jenin, which is also an expression of their hatred for Palestinian Muslims. And right next door in India, Modi's India, we know what is happening. And I would urge you, through your good offices, that please distribute the BBC film, The Modi Question. It is in two parts. I've seen it. It is shocking, the kinds of despicable crimes that are being committed by the Indian state under the RSS leadership against Muslims, targeting them and including in occupied Kashmir, where 4.2 million new domiciles have been uh, mentioned. And I think that uh, they want to change the demographic balance in that context. So I would say that we should also take this forward. The third aspect is what needs to be done on this issue. I would say that the Human Rights Council is meeting next week in Geneva. And we will have representation from I believe with the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Hina Rabani Khar Sahiba, and also from the Senate, the Chairman of the Senate uh, Human Rights Committee, Committee Walid Iqbal Sahib is going there. They should take up this issue with the Senate resolution, and they should promote this, number one. Number two, sir, we should also take this initiative with the G20 countries, which India is hosting this year, and they said they were going to have a session in Srinagar, in occupied Kashmir. I think the Modi film needs to be shown to all the G20 members to tell them what is really happening. And just one or two other points I'd like to mention briefly before I conclude. Uh, two days ago, a book has been published in America by the former American Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, 
the title of the book is Never Give an Inch. And on that also, I think, there is an expression of Islamophobia because he narrates the Indian propaganda that when India attacked Balakot after the Pulwama incident, and we hit back and shot down two of their planes, including their pilot was captured, Abhinandan. The Indians complained to the Americans, according to the book, Sushma Swaraj. She talk, woke him up at night and told him that Pakistan is planning a nuclear attack, that these are as if it's an Islamic bomb attacking a civilized country. I think this should be clarified. And he says, then he called <coughs> what he says, the real ruler of Pakistan, General Bajwa, according to Pompeo. <coughs> and told him, and he said the issue was diffused. I think the previous government should clarify this issue also, and the current government also, because this is a falsehood. Pakistan's nuclear program is a peaceful nuclear program in response to the Indian nuclear program. We started that. We did it for a security. They did it for their status and prestige. And this kind of nonsense we have never done. They, it is their Brahmos missile, which was fired, they say, accidentally, and they have had loose uranium. And finally, Mr. Chairman, we talk of Islamophobia, which we condemn strongly. But we should also uphold in Muslim countries Islamic principles. I've seen in the Holy Quran that three people are the most Muslim. Quran Sharif mein zikr hai. Jo asir hai, jo maskeen hai, jo yateem hai. Aur idhar jo humare asir hai, aur mein ismei condemn karta hoon, jis tariqe se Fawad Chaudhary ki treatment ki gai hai, jis tarah hath kadi lagai gai, isko kiya gai, cover kiya gai as a terrorist. We should not humiliate political prisoners like that. In the past, it has happened. Prime ministers have also been handcuffed. Our people have also been handcuffed. But two wrongs don't make a right. What is wrong is wrong, and we should condemn that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Honorable Khwaja Asif Saab, Minister for Defense. Shukriya, Janab Chairman. Janab Chairman, I have a happy kismet that I am doing this opportunity to avail a issue اظہار خیال کر رہا ہوں جو ہماری اس عوان بالا نے میرا خیال ہے سب سے پہلے جس طرح مشاہد صاحب نے بتایا ٹیک اپ کیا ہے اس واقعے کی جتنی بھی مضمت کی جائے وہ کم ہے ہمارے ایمان کا ایک حصہ ہے اور اس کی وائلیشن جو ہے دنیا کے ڈیڑھ عرب مسلمانوں کا فرض ہے کہ اس کی کنڈیم کیا جائے جس طرح بھی ہو اس قسم کے واقعات کو جو ہے رکنا چاہیے اور غیظ و غضب کا جو اظہار ہے مسلم دنیا سے وہ یکجہتی کے ساتھ 